Hi friends, today I'll be talking about uh, my secondary income which I opted for which eventually became my primary income because I was earning much more than my primary income. Uh, so why did I take this decision to be over there? I'll let you know in this video. So as we all know that and I've been talking about okay, we should be having a plan B, a secondary income. So I was basically a corporate or, or a documentary filmmaker for many years. And then something hit me that, all right, if things are not so good because shit do hit the fan, what I'm going to do? So I read many books and I realized that it's always wise to have a secondary income. But I was busy. I was too involved with my own work. So I cannot give more time to a, a, the, another work. So what do I do? And also I did not want to invest too much of money because when you talk about secondary income, you don't want to go over the top. So you want to have a secondary stream of income but not go over the top. Plus can't even give so much, a lot of time. So what do I do with this, in this current situation? But secondary income is important. Hence, I started looking on. I started doing my research. I read books, saw videos, attended seminars. And then I realized that there was this industry which was actually doing or uh, offering what I was looking for. And that was the direct selling industry. And... See, I had few criteria clear in my mind what I wanted. I wanted financial freedom. I don't want a boss over my head. And as I mentioned earlier, I didn't want to invest too much of money. So with little investment, no boss on my head and go towards financial freedom. What could that be? So I realized that uh, direct selling industry, that's what it uh, uh, offers. And all this criteria was actually met over there. And also I realized the, that most of the top financial gurus of the world or the most of the top successful people of the world, they advocated this industry. And who are those, those people when I read about them or when I actually heard from them was Donald Trump, Richard Branson. Robert Kiyosaki, the, uh, the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Stephen Covey, Jim Rohn, and many, many more people were talking about okay, how direct selling industry is an ideal one. In fact, uh, I was uh, going through one video where somebody asked, uh, he had a very big company and very popular too. So at that time, somebody asked him, okay, if all your wealth was taken away from you, what will you do to build it again? And he said, I will join the direct selling industry, the network marketing industry. Oh, if there must be something in it. Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and everybody considers to him the modern day's um, financial group for, for the world. And he also says always, okay, if I have to restart, he will do by being part of some network marketing company, which is the direct selling industry. So I said, okay, when all these people are so much into it, why should I not consider it? Though I had some apprehensions because when you talk about network marketing industry or MLM, people say, ah, it's a scam. It's not so good. And there were a lot of myths and talks about it that it, it not being so good and, and uh, you should restrain from being part of it. I did my research on that too. And I realized, okay, yes, there are in love, in world, there are good, good people, bad people, there are good companies, bad companies. And most of the people, what happens is they get involved with wrong companies and then they blame the industry. The industry is great. Maybe you, when you are eating an apple, you ended up with a green one and you start complaining, okay, the apples are bad. No, it's not. You ended up with the wrong one or you did not did your, do your bit. So industry, as per the industry gurus, is the best industry. And in fact, uh, recently, uh, even 
it's I saw in the news that uh, I don't know how far it's true, but then uh, Modi ji has been advocating that like people should get involved with direct selling because that's another way of generating employment. So when you get into the uh, right company or the right atmosphere, right, connect yourself or plug yourself with the right team, that's a time you really can make good amount of money and you uh, and you can attain all those things what you're looking for. But if you end up with the wrong one, there are bad people, uh, people everywhere. So that's your tough luck <laughs> to your research before getting into it once. So the first once, once I understood, okay, okay, this is a good industry and I should be part of it, then which, uh, okay, that is direct selling is very good. Then which, is, which are the products, which are the industry I should get into? Then I said, okay, why not a wellness industry? Because wellness industry, it's growing big time. It's got a growth rate of 12.8% across the globe. In India too, more than 12% it's growing, right? And uh, it's a $4.2 trillion industry worldwide. Fiki says it's 1.5 trillion Indian currency uh, industry in India, which is huge, right? So we can be part of that too. So direct selling industry with wellness, wow. Now, which is the company which I should go for? I did my research for that too, right? So right now, I'll not talk about okay, which company did I go for, but I'll suggest one thing. Okay, yes, you should con seriously consider network marketing as your uh, option B. And I'll talk about my journey with this. When I went into it, I was not very uh, optimistic about it because what people were talking around, okay, okay, this is a bad industry and people just scam. Yes, uh, as I mentioned earlier, okay, there are bad people in every company too, every industry too. So what I did was, uh, yes, I became part of it, right? I, I, a, a, a company that has just come from Japan and uh, they were launching a health device in India. So I said, why not get part of, be a part of this particular uh, company? because it's got it's a direct selling industry plus it's into wellness perfect combination and a Japanese company that issue of honesty is not there with Japanese because you know Japanese are normally very honest people so things don't go wrong over there so I said right I like to be part of this thing because I can be safe here and I think that was the best decision of my life because when I became part of it my primary income or my primary business which was a uh, production house which I had uh, and I was making uh, documentary films and corporate films was slowly in a uh, was going down but that gave me some time because uh, to give some more time to this new industry and understand it more and why when I started doing my research more and more in this particular product and this company I really started loving it and eventually I realized within a year within a year of joining this particular company my secondary income right that secondary income actually became my primary income and I actually shut down my primary business because the kind of money and satisfaction I was getting from doing this was too good right and I, right now I can tell you I'm full-time into this uh, business and I'm loving it. So th that's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, my secondary income, which I was not so optimistic about it, became my primary income and my primary business, which was the main business which I had, is no, does not exist anymore. Imagine I had not taken the decision then, what would have happened to me? If you want to know more about what did I do and how did I do and which is the company I do, call me. I'll tell you more about it. Thank you very much. Have a great day. And I suggest one thing. Think about your family. You have to have a secondary income. Take care for now. Bye. Subscribe to the channel as well as press the bell icon because the moment you press the bell icon, what happens is every time I put a video on, you will get a notification and you will be updated. Thank you very much. Have a great day.